Okay, hey, how's it going? How is everybody doing? Welcome back to another video. It's me, Leroy Argent. Today, we are going to be having a story time um, about when I got stalked in primary school. I know, weird, right? No, it wasn't for my voice because back then I had a squeaker voice because, you know, I was, what was I, like 11, 12, 13, around there. That's when the story happened. So yeah, let's get into it. Anyway, so this all started in around grade 5 when I found out this girl that I've been friends with for like 5 years. We're gonna call her, uh, we'll call her Karen because why not? <laughs> so anyway, um, Karen wasn't really a close friend of mine. Um, she was weird, but yeah, she was just there, you know? She was like friends with everybody. At the same time, she kind of had a crush on all my friends as well, which is weird, super weird, super weird. But anyway, around this time, she moved next to me, which I didn't know until like halfway through the year when she was like, Hey, you know I live next door to you? I said, Oh, did you just move in? She's like, No, I moved in at the start of the year. I just figured I should tell you this time. Then she's like, If I ever need homework, I'm coming to you. And I'm like, I, just, I never do my homework. Don't come to me. Yeah, I'm that type of student, I never do my homework. But anyway, not what we're here to discuss. So, grade 5, uh, nothing too bad happened, right? Everything was fine. But things took a turn when I got a crush on somebody else. And she found out about it, Karen, she found out about it, right? And I think it upset her that I like somebody else instead of her. Because this is when shit took a turn. She started doing weird weird stuff for one she wrote a list of her crushes uh there was like 13 13 dudes on there very very weird like mm, very questionable as well because when, when we saw it initially it looked like she was writing down some ritual or something it was mad it was like death note or something but nobody ties within i don't know man i don't know what i'm saying i'm just a waffler anyway so yeah, grade 6 weird stuff started happening, that was the first weird thing. Second weird thing is she started like actually coming to my house for homework and most of the time I just tell her oh I don't have my homework done or I don't have my books, my friend has it and what blah blah and then one day I was walking in into my house and she was outside and she's like yo I need your science book and I was like no, my mother's gonna make me give it to me. Because my mother used to pick me up and drop me off from school, you know? And so she was walking behind me, and then we hear Karen's voice, and she's like, Neeb, can I borrow your books? And I'm just like, ah, fuck, bro, hide for my mother. And anyway, I turn around, and I'm like, what book do you need? And then she asked for maths, and I was like, I don't have it. And my mom knew I was lying, so my mom looked at me, and I was like, ah. Then she asked my science book and I was like, okay, yeah, you can have it. I did have some of my work done in there. Science and math were like the only two subjects I really paid attention to. And not because it's important subjects. No, because I was scared of the teachers. I, like, I mean, like, our math teacher and science teacher back then was scary. So yeah, I gave her my books, right? And next day I go to school and we had maths the first period. And I'm searching through my bag and I'm like, oh, Fuck, where's my books? Where's my books? Where's my books? You know? And then I turn and she was sitting in front of the class on the right. I remember this because in grade six we had to stay in the hall because our math teacher didn't have a classroom. And I look at her and she's using my book to do her homework in math. Dude, I went over there and I took my book and I'm like, yo, I need it. She's coming to check homework. I need it. She's like, no, no, two minutes, two minutes. So anyway, uh, I told her, and I'm sorry, but I gotta take it because she was at my desk, like waiting for me. So I took my book and I went back, dude. She checked my homework, everything, and then I started scrolling through my book, right? Because I felt like this girl did something in my book. She definitely done something in my book. And as I'm scrolling through it, this girl feels the need to write her name at the back with a heart. Like, what? Bro, thank god she didn't write it on like the hard cover, she wrote it on the soft page, so I just, I ripped it out and I threw it away. And ever since then I just never borrowed any of my books ever again. 
because that was that was very very weird so yeah that was like the first time or not the first time well, it was like the page with our names on it was the first time that she had a crush on us but that was the second one and what made it worse is all my friends and stuff knew what was going on because of that page because their names were on it as well it was basically my entire friend group whoever was in my friend group was one of her crushes which is weird because now looking back at it it's like that netflix show i have no clue what that netflix show is called but it's that girl she she like writes love letters to a bunch of people and she sends them out because she wants to ask them out for prom and all of them say yes or some shit i have no clue dude i don't watch netflix um editor cyphus maybe he knows what it is probably not but if you do just reference it with a picture or something Okay, then later on in the year, we were sitting in our register class, and in register class, I used to sit next to her because of alphabetical order, right? And so I was sitting next to her, and I usually am quiet sitting next to her because I don't want to talk, I really don't. And this was around the time when I had my first ever YouTube channel, I'm not gonna mention it because it's cringe, it's really cringe. And I was promoting it heavily in school, and she found it, and she tells me, I like your YouTube videos, even though I don't understand like what it was for. I'm pretty sure I used to just post Call of Duty Zombies on there. I probably took down all the videos because it was cringe, cringe, cringe. Like my voice, cringe. It was Black Ops 3 Zombies and I didn't even know how to kill the freaking Magua. Bro, we were shooting the Magua's body instead of the heads when it opens its mouth. I, I, I definitely took all that down once I found out how to kill the Magua. But anyway, so I just said, oh okay did you subscribe and then she's like yeah i made my mom and my sister do it too and i was like i you know i kind of appreciate that but karen um that's weird that's very weird so anyway this was one of the weird things that i thought was weird moving on to the next year this is where things have become extremely extremely weird it was around valentine's day right and i had asked the girl who i had a crush on to be my valentine's day and she said yes, I, I know, I know guys, it sounds like a dream, it sounds like a dream, just wait until you find out what kind of ruined it, a lot of things ruined it, but I'm only going to mention one, um, Valentine's Day comes, and our one teacher was doing like these fake tattoos for, for our learners, like you can write your name on your arm and whatnot, and you won't guess what Karen got on her arm, on her forearm, my name, full capital letters, dude. And this teacher was one of my favorite teachers, dude. She even used to like me. This teacher even used to like me, like, in a friendly way, you know. You know those teachers that you just have a bond with, like, you know, that, that teacher that's like your friend, who's not really a teacher, she's more of your friend, or he's more of your friend. That was this teacher. So I could not believe when she done this, dude. Anyway, Karen came out onto the field with my name on her arm, and she's showing it to everybody. Dude, when I saw it, I went straight with my friend and we went to go tell Karen, like, what are you doing? Legitimately, what are you doing? Like before, she used to write the letter M on her on her hand, right? With a pen or a pencil. Well, not a pencil, I don't think a pencil would leave a mark. But anyway, she used to write the M on her, on her hand, right? Which I didn't think much of. That could have been so many people. There were so many people with name that starts with M in our school. But seeing a fake tattoo that was probably gonna last about a month on her arm that said my name no i wasn't having it so we went to her and we were we, i will admit we kind of swore her and stuff but what i don't get is the teacher when she went go complain because we swore her right the teacher came and he called us there's, there's another teacher that she went go complain to because she was like a teacher's pet to him and he came he called me and my friend right my friend and I were the ones who swore her. We were like, what the fuck are you doing? How the fuck can you do this? No, 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 no. Now, we said this softly to her, you know, talking privately. But I know swearing at a girl isn't the best thing to do. I don't condone it. Do not, do not do it. We done it because we're a bunch of idiots. Anyway, this teacher comes to us and has the nerve to tell us that that is normal. Not, not us swearing him. Not us swearing her, sorry. That it her writing my name on her arm is normal no way dude. no way dude. we got in trouble at the end of the day we got in trouble nothing happened to her then when we went home she came home 
and you know she still lives next door to me to this day she still lives next door to me but we don't talk at all she comes to my my gate as i'm walking inside the house and she just like audibly audibly is that how you said audibly says sorry i walk in my house and i didn't say shit anyway a few months go by like a, a lot of months go by near my birthday in september 27th yes my birthday passed uh, I invited two of my friends over, which you guys might know from a few of my previous Rem6 Siege videos or whatever, streams. Look, my name was one. And we were playing soccer outside, right? And now she lives in the upstairs building next to my house, right? We're playing soccer and we look up there because they were like, which house does she live in? And we, I was like about to point it out. I kid you not, she's sitting there and watching us. Bro, we went inside and we hid. Uh, after that, we pretty much didn't have any other weird encounters with her. That was the most weird one, which is her watching us play sports outside. Very, very weird. Mm -mm. I just, mm -mm. nah. To this day, I feel like that's some stalker stuff. I don't like it. And yeah, uh, the last weird encounter I think I've ever had with her was that one. But the other day, when I was collecting my father's monthly package for his work, I was signing for it and. I saw her walk past and she was holding a dude's hand, like a dude around our age, I assume it's her boyfriend, and she looked at me and I looked at her and then she immediately like squeezed the dude's hand and then just like started running out of there, she was like not wanting to be there. You know when you have like a new boyfriend or girlfriend and you walk into a store and you see your ex-girlfriend or your ex-boyfriend and you need to get out of there as fast as you can? That's what she done. And I was just there like, Psh, okay then, I'm happy for you if that's your boyfriend. But yeah, that's the last time I think I saw her, which was last month. I know, I never leave my room, that's the problem. <laughs> I'm an introvert as shit, but anyway, thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe. If you guys do want more story time, tell me, I got loads of story. Also, I'm sorry if you guys could hear my butter knife in the background. I've been playing with it the whole day. I'm like attached to this thing. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.